Hey, what's up? This is Michael from Somos, and you're watching Wheeler's Weekend Jams, live and direct. Wheeler's Weekend Jams, live and direct. Wheeler's Weekend Jams, live and direct, coming at you again from Riot Fest 2016 in Chicago. And I got the boys from Somos next to me. How are you guys doing today? Good, what's going on? Good. Fantastic, man. So I'm just going to get right into it. How did you guys all meet? When did the band begin? When did the creation begin? With you know, we, are, we actually have known each other for almost 10 years. We met early in high school. Um, so the, we go, we all go way back. And the band got together like four years ago, started to play some local shows, and then our first record came out two years ago. Oh, nice. So we've been kind of really pushing it, touring, going for it for like two years. But we've known each other for a very long time. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, which is good to have that connection. Cool, man. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys just came out with your uh, a brand new album, First Day Back. Yep. Uh, tell us the, the whole story behind this record. How was uh, the recording process to begin with and what this record means to you guys personally? Um, the recording process was interesting. We, uh, our first record we did in like 10 days and it was really quick, but first day back we had um, support from a new record label, Hopeless, so we were able to spend a whole month really delving into the, you know, delving into the process, rearranging things, really thinking critically about like production and songwriting, so we just had a lot more time and a lot more space to think it through, which was a really, I, I thought it was a good experience for us to have. For sure. Question, musician to musician. Did you guys work with the click? Uh, yes, yeah. Don't you love it? Yes. We love the, we click. Love the click. We love the click. It's, I mean, at first it's just like, ah, uh, but then once you like learn it, it does help, you know? Oh, it helps, it helps tremendously, it's yeah. It's not true, because you're like, no, but I play a little bit faster, and you're like, no, you're actually not playing it the right way. Yeah. You gotta do it on the level, you know? Totally. So it's always like, I don't know. Um, it can humble you. Yes, yes. Well, this is a big year in music. Obviously, your guys' new album just dropped. Uh, is there any uh, records that has blown your mind this year by any other bands? Uh, for me, what comes to mind for like a big uh, like blow-up record, I like Chance the Rapper's record a lot. Um, in terms of something in our scene or in our world, I really like the Pine Grove record. I think that guy is an amazing voice. Um, those are two that come to mind for me. I don't know about these guys. 19, the 1975 record, for sure. Some of the, just the sounds on there, it's really crazy. Yeah, definitely the new Chance the Rapper album and the new Frank Ocean album, actually, is super good. So. I live into a lot of Chance, Frank Ocean, a lot of new Kanye, too. And I second the Pine Grove album, Cardinal. It's a great album. We're really digging that a lot lately. Well, it's funny, because I used to be, I, I, I did a radio show at Windy City Underground in the city a couple years ago, and when Chance the Rapper was just coming up like yeah. we were playing a lot of him and like I've watched him grown till now and now he's massive yeah he played an SNL now you yeah, know he's, yeah. he's all over the place so yeah, yeah. Chance Rapper is awesome for sure totally. um, well if there is on a personal level now if there is one person you would like to thank in your life for getting you into music to begin with and helped you on your musical journey so far who would that one person be I guess my dad because he bought me my first bass when I was 12 he didn't he didn't have to do that <laughs> Slap it up, bass, son. Yeah. I uh, I used to be really into sports, and one summer, playing football, I was like a lot smaller than all the kids, and I broke my ankle. And that summer, when I was just kind of sitting on the couch doing nothing, my dad had his old like silver tone guitar kicking around, and he like put it in my hands. I was like 11 or 12, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> started learning covers, and nice. yeah. Similarly, my dad bought me my first guitar, so, you know, started me on the journey. Thanks to the fathers out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my dad, too. I, uh, yeah. He was, uh, he was a guitarist, and, uh, but he was totally chill when I want to start playing drums, and, uh, yeah, he really supported me and taught me a lot about, like, you know, what, why music is sick, and, like, yeah, I really, really, like, loved it. Yeah. Our moms are, are really cool and supportive, too. Yeah, I just want to yeah. put that out there. Shout out. My moms are cool. My mom, is, you know. my mom is tied with my dad, actually. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Well, uh, you guys are actually going to be on, uh, we're on tour with High Wasted, who are also playing here as well. Yeah. Uh, how, how, uh, how's that? How excited are you for this uh, tour? Or you guys already started well, the tour? Yeah, we actually, we only have about a week left, um, and it's gone very well. Uh, it's the first time we've done a full uh, U.S. headlining tour. Uh, so, yeah, it's exceeded our expectations, honestly, yeah. Any, uh, any funny stories uh, being on the road for, uh, for this tour? It's so weird. It's been a very smooth tour there haven't been any big because the, the best stories are always like the nightmares when they're happening yes. but then they make for great stories later and that has not happened yet on this tour which might make for boring memories but it's making for a very pleasant tour experience <laughs> 
Coast, man. That's it. He- headlining on the West Coast for the first time was like a big, that was kind of surreal and really cool, you know? The West Coast is where it's at. Yeah, like having, we played a show at Chain Reaction in Anaheim that, you know, we're just so far from home. I was ready to play for like 40 kids, but it was actually a really, really cool show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, well, I, I ask every band this, and uh, I love the reactions to this question, but uh, I'm a huge uh, movie buff. Okay. And um, if you guys had to compare your band to a movie, what movie would it be and why? A movie? 2001 of Space Up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lord of the Rings. Because, yeah, because we have, the ring represents, like, our songwriting process. And it's just a, it's a long journey. It's a long journey to achieve what we need to achieve. And once you've done that as an artist, you should stop existing. Because once you can't improve anymore, you should stop, because you've peaked. So once we drop our songwriting into Mount Doom, we're done. <laughs> Elaborate. I don't know. I felt like that kind of made sense, right? All right. Well, okay. the rings. All right. You guys, you guys agree? Lord of the Rings? Definitely. I'll, I'll go with that, yeah. And also, there are like dark supernatural forces conspiring against us <laughs> in the industry. My precious. Well, uh, well, guys, if there's anything you want to say out there to the fans, where to find you guys on the internet? Find us anywhere so- on the internet. We got a new website, we dude. So- Somosband.com, man. Somosband.com. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, guys, thank you so much for doing this interview, man. And uh, everybody, thank you for tuning in for Wheeler's Weekend Jams. Make sure to check out our website at wheelersweekendjams.com and support us on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash WWJ. It's like a Kickstarter for content creators. Help us out. We're trying to bring back the old school MTV that once was. So, uh, you know, guys, thanks again. Awesome, man. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Thanks for watching this interview straight from Riot Fest, Chicago 2016. We just want to give a big thanks to all our fellow patrons and fans out there. Seriously, we greatly appreciate everybody who's chipped in in support of what we do. As you can tell, we're working here alongside all these big media companies, but we're the only one that's independent. So this means a lot to us, and everybody who's chipped in on our Patreon page, it means a lot to us. So please head on over if you're interested in supporting what we do. Head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash WWJ.